Hi and welcome to this session. In the last video, I detailed the story of Azure Databricks. Today, we are going to see set up the Azure Databricks workspace, how to create a cluster, and what is the difference between the different type of cluster, how to create a notebook attached to the cluster and run it, how to configure security, and finally work through a scenario. Let's begin by setting up our Azure Databricks workspace. But before we start, let's understand what is a workspace. A workspace is a isolation unit. Each workspace is isolated from the others. And each workspace has a unique ID, is a unique identifier for each workspace. A locked resource, it means that it is deployed in a control plane and a data plane. Organize assets. Notebook are separated from the library and the dashboard. A control access is defined the access control on all the assets. So let's start by creating our workspace. To do this, I am going to the Azure portal and next I am identifying by my account. So I am here identifying by my account and next I am going to create my Databricks resource workspace. Azure Databricks services and next add a new item. I need to put my subscription and my resource group. I just create a new uh, resource group and the name I give the name start with uh, Databricks, the region and create. Deployment in progress. Now the workspace is ready, let's go to resource and here we can launch our workspace but before let's take a look for the management resource. The management resource contains three uh, resources, is the planned data resource that contain a, a virtual network and the network security group for managing the inbound and the outbound traffic and the storage account for the DBFS. Good, let's start launching the workspace. I'm going to use this account and is using the uh, Active Directory single sign-on. So what you see here is the deployment on region, the Azure Databricks and the ID of the notebook. There is here the uh, workspace. We can uh, create the new notebook, new library, new folder, and ML flow experiment. And you can import, and you can also export. And here we can uh, create a dataset, importing dataset, and managing the, the table. And here we can create the cluster, and job, model. And now let's create a folder demo and create and now let's go to create a cluster but before creating cluster let's understand the two type of the cluster there are uh, an interactive cluster and a job cluster for the interactive cluster is created by user or by API manually terminate low execution time and auto scale on demand and finally the comparatively costly. How about the job cluster? Is run automatically by the job, auto create when the job is a start, terminate when the job is end, the height throughput, auto scale on demand and comparatively cheaper. And there is two clusters mode. The first one is the standard mode and the second one is the highly concurrency mode. For the standard mode is used 
for a single user is not provide a no default isolation that mean that it means that if user use a, a notebook can affect the other user and also is not provide a tax a task preemption that means that task can block other execution that's why each user is recommended to work on the separated cluster and it support a scala python sql r and java and for the highly concurrency user mode, it supports uh, multiple uh, users, also a uh, fault isolation, task preemption, fair resource sharing, and the maximum cluster uh, utilization, and only support SQL and R, and not support uh, Scala. And now let's go and create a new cluster. Now there is here a job a cluster, and a normal cluster that I wanted to create. The mode I'm gonna choose the standard mode, and there is a high concurrency mode. On the scalar time, I'm gonna choose the default one. And the, for the worker time, it depends for your uh, demand. I'm gonna use the default one, and the library is installed on the worker nodes. I choose the uh, driver type identical of the standard one. The DBU is a Databricks uh, unit. By trial we can guess the uh, worker number node but if you don't know the compartment of the uh, application you can choose the enable auto scaling. The cluster now is uh, created and is uh, start running and here we can execution and you can also delete the, the duplicate the the cluster. They can clone the cluster by the same uh, configuration. As you see here, the cluster is running, and you can select and you can edit the the cluster. For each modification, you uh, restart the the cluster. The event log is the log of the cluster that is started, paused, log and the driver log that track the log on the uh, library on the notebook execution. Now let's move to the security. There is three layers of security. The infrastructure, identity and the assets. For the infrastructure, Azure is managing the security by applying security on workspace, by using control plane and data plane. Vinet security group security, DLS and resource locking. For the identity, user authentication to the workspace using the Active Directory. Assets build on support for fine grain, user permission to cluster, folders, notebook, jobs and data. Now let's see how to add user on the Bricks notebook. So go to your user admin console and add user and put the email of the user here and the user should be in the Azure Active Directory and for the permission here is the admin and there is a, another layer of permission is a low creation cluster. Thank you that's all for this session and see you in the next video we are going to work on the real example.